Hi, it's Phil Palm again, and what we're going to do today is I'm going to put a little texture, a little more texture on this, this cliff area here. So I'm going to come down like this, and the edges here, I need a little more water in my brew here. These edges need to be a little rougher because we're putting texture in. Like that. I'm going to vary my color just a little bit, not as much as when I put on the um, other, the first wash. But I'm not softening as much here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. To kind of take a look here and see how it looks. I don't want to work too much into the super light areas because we want that contrast when I come in and put some real darks in here. So I'm just kind of scrubbing downward with my brush. Are you following me over here? Oh. Watch what you're doing. Okay, thank you. Now I will blot a little. Now blotting doesn't take away the hard lines. Softening does if you use um, water in your brush or a, a synthetic brush it'll scrub a little bit better than say a pure sable might. So, but blotting will take the value off, it'll make it lighter. That's a little bit of texture way back here but not much because that's a quite farther away from us and I want it to look farther away from us. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Alright, now it's looking a little more like cliffs. A little less like a, just a pretty little picture. So, uh, while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to get a fine brush here. Because I don't want to overdo the lines. And come over to the palette a little bit here. That. Already did. Good girl. And um, get somewhat of a dark line. This line here is very important because it gives you a feeling of thickness to the foam. That is, it's casting a bit of a shadow so it makes it look a little thicker. Now, notice I don't want to make a real perfect line and I don't want to make a continuous line necessarily but I don't come around here because the shadow wouldn't show as much there it shows over here not to give you a feeling of thickness to that and I might I'll put just a little bit out here although this is getting a lot thinner some of that up so it didn't overdo. Just a little suggestion there to make it look a little more realistic. I want this to be pretty dry before I'm going to go back in there. But uh, so I'm going to mix up real quick some sea color using the same pigments as I used before. And that is a thylo blue, uh, ultramarine blue, and a little burnt sienna. I need to dull it down just a bit. that fairly wet come down here I want to go too far before I take another brush with water and soften the edge upward here so it does, I don't want a hard edge on the top I want a hard edge on the bottom showing that a little more realistic shadow on the waves bottom of the waves. Also, once again, I don't want it a continuous line because in reality, in that water, you really wouldn't have a, a continuous line. I'm just using my Kleenex for a, 
the cheap way to get a nice graded wash up here coming up to nothing and disappearing into that wave. But you can see that it, it emphasizes with the value contrast uh, that wave action making it look like a little more real because that's the way it does look down there. You get some darks in there at the bottom of the wave where the light doesn't hit down there. So we're starting a little detail phase as I work my way up to the finish here. So I'm going to rinse my brush out each time because I want to soften the color that's there, not add more color to it, dirty color from where I was working before. There, just basically like that. Softening, getting a look. Now I can also come down a little bit like this and give a suggestion of texture in the waves. Can you see me here? Uh -huh. Good girl. There we go. Things are so dry here, it just dries really fast. This See where we get a little suggestion of a few texture spots in the waves, not much, just a little bit. A few suggestions of hard edges here and there. Notice I'm not using the point of the brush, I'm using the, the side of the brush works better for pulling out, painting on the bumps of the paper, making it a, a rough edge. Mm -hmm. I'm not really enamored of that shape right in that area too much, so going to modify it and modify it again. There we go. There, okay, we got those two things in and I think that this is dry over here right now, so what uh, time have we got there? Seven. Oh, we're getting pretty close. Okay, I'm going to make a start up here. Well, let's see. We'll put a few in and then I'll continue on the next clip this a part one and a part two. I'm using burnt sienna burnt umber and ultramarine blue to darken it a bit. I don't want too much um, too many colors into it to muddy it up that much. And come in with my smaller brush. making some grooves. What time we got now? 8.40. Very Nine. good. Very good. Okay. You could, the hard edges, the sunlight hits here, it's where the sunlight hits and then as, it, as the shadow moves across, then we soften. Burying everything, shapes. In a minute or so, if I have time, I'll get to and bury a couple angles. Oh. Brush with color works a little better when I want to do that. working this up in several stages. <clears throat> Done now? 
Okay, we'll continue this on the next part of this 